Hey, Will here with the first New to the Woods video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share New to the Woods with anybody you think might be interested in some of the stuff that we're doing up here in northern Wisconsin. I'm here at the world famous Diver Den. You can see it's sunny right now, so all the teams are out. I think they got six dash boats out pulling weeds in various lakes nearby. But I'm here to work on some compost. Behind me is just a small portion of the waste, uh, that these invasives that the boys pull. Um, the stuff that isn't dumped at a dump site ends up back here in these green onion bags. We use these mesh bags so the water leaves, uh, it, they don't get all clogged up. So then you can, you can stuff a ton of, ton of invasives in these bags. Uh, aquatic plant management works closely with lake associations and the Department of Natural Resources in Wisconsin to pull out these invasives on a large scale. Most of what you see behind me is Eurasian water milfoil, one of the primary culprits, invasive species in the area. Uh, this is what it looks like up close. This has been out of the water for about a day, so it's starting to dry out. But as you can see, it's kind of a reddish tint stem a lot of the times, but it, it can be green as well. And then it's got these whirled leaves on it. So those leaves and this stem are really good for, or for compost and for your garden soil. As soon as you get that in that pile and it starts to heat up, it decomposes and starts to look a little bit more like spaghetti. Right? It looks like these noodles. After a little while longer, this will decompose as well, and you'll be left with a really good pile of that black gold. There's two primary ways that aquatic plant management uh, pulls the invasives out of the lake. A lot of what we do is hand harvesting. We'll set a team out. We pick from the bottom. We pull the roots of these, of these invasives, put them on a raft, and dump them either here or a designated dump spot. The second way, a little bit more efficient, but a larger scale project, is called DASH. DASH stands for Diver Assisted Suction Harvesting. Looks a little bit more like this. Get to the bottom of the lake. We get a regulator on. You can spend some, a significant amount of time down at the bottom of that lake, still pulling roots, but then you can stay down there longer, feed this tube, which pulls them up to the, to the deck of the boat and feed them right into these onion bags. Um, we have a group interested in some of our bio waste for their own compost operation. So I'm gonna get all these bags or as many as I can today empty um, and, and start that pile. So the pile over my right shoulder that's already out of the bags is steaming hot. This stuff is super high in nitrogen um, it gets really hot, really fast. That's enough for one day. I'm gonna let this bottom layer kind of air out, take in the sun. It's getting pretty anaerobic, pretty smelly down there. So these will be uh, left for tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't rain tonight. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, new to the woods on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Thank you to APM, Aquatic Plant Management. Find them on Instagram as well. Thanks to Curious Provisions for this thumper boombox that's keeping me grooving for the last three hours. Thanks to Shady Rays for these shades and uh, Bird Dogs for the, the shorts and the t-shirt. Have a great day.